So something always gets us to the point where we're starting to explore, experiment. I noticed you said that your mother had a mental illness. I I was raised around that also. Can we kind of hit on what kind of family circumstances brings us to the point where we want to indulge in that experimental drugs to escape? Yeah, well, mine is a complicated tale. Some things I probably leave out just based on memory. But I remember a time when my mom and dad were divorced and we were staying in Biloxi, Mississippi. And um, a man broke into the house and tried to rape my mom. And I was maybe five or six at the time, maybe seven. And I was just going to call, call the police, call the police. I knew the concept of dialing 911, but um, I didn't know how to do it. So I knew the concept. Uh, using the phone in that way, which, I mean, using the phone, period was foreign to me. You know, it was at this time period in which we have cell phones and all that. And so I, I panicked, and I was like, I don't know how, I don't know how. And I tried, and I tried, and I couldn't. Luckily, the man, you know, he ran off, but it was still a traumatic event. And then my mom, she was just, like, berating me about not knowing how to dial 911. But if you don't teach the child, then how would the child know? They don't teach you in school how to dial 911. Yeah, we sure we know the concept. And then you got to think, this is, like, 1984, 85 maybe 83, in which, what, phones were rotary for the most part. You might have had some touchpad phones, but not like what we have today. Anyway, so that was a, an event that I felt less than. I felt like I could have been more, and I, I, I saw myself, you know, as smaller than I was in some ways. My mom had, um, like, she was diagnosed. Well, she, didn't, she was diagnosed much later in life. She, didn't, she wasn't diagnosed at the time. So, you know, she had a bipolar disorder. But she didn't know she had bipolar disorder. She just knew that she was going through some stuff in life. We got into an incident, and we moved back to we moved to South Carolina. And in South Carolina, you know, saying she got into some maladaptive, addictive behaviors. Um, she was impacted by racism in her workplace as a chemist at Bear um, Pharmaceuticals in Blue Street, um, South Carolina. And just you know, her lack of interaction. She used to work twelve-hour shifts. When she come home, she will sleep. But she wasn't sleeping. She would go out to party or she would go out to um, get back to work. And the streets pretty much raised us. I was first introduced to drugs probably around maybe 12, 13 years old. My friend uh, Ducky, you know what I'm saying, he was into those type of behaviors, mainly marijuana and stuff, a little um, powder here and there. I didn't really mess with the powder as I thought marijuana was um, enough. Um, years later, you know, when I was in Connecticut, you know, I was dealing drugs to some degree, just marijuana, or not minimizing or anything, but marijuana. But my compadres, my gang members, you know, they might have been dealing with harder drugs. And I said my brother got trapped into that, that trap. And after his death, you know, alcohol, heroin, cocaine, all that was on the table for me to indulge in because I was numb at the pain. I blamed myself for the death of my brother. If I was more protective of him, if I you know what I'm saying? I put my arms around him tighter to keep him away from the things that we were into. We weren't supposed to be in games. We were rappers. You know what I'm saying? We were musicians. Yeah. Somehow our music transitioned us into being in the gang as, you know, I guess mouthpieces or um, horns of glory regarding gang activity. You know what I'm saying? We just fell into that life. It wasn't natural or native for us to be into that life, you know, just to, I guess, to give our music more punch, to give it more realism, the stuff that we were doing. We didn't want to just rap about this stuff. We wanted to be back in a reality that we ourselves experienced. And in hindsight, I see that was very foolish. 